All right, folks, welcome back to Search Geek Speak for another week. It's getting a little lyrical, I guess. All right, we got Bill Slosky coming back on the show this week, uh, SEObythesea.com, and uh, Bill Slosky everywhere now, not William, right? Yes, I, I, I think we got that all socially sorted now. I think so. Welcome back to the show. Well, thank you. Thank you, David and Terry. I learned like, a few things. Uh, back when you were on uh, a few months ago, one of the discussions we had was various graphs beyond a link graph and, and how Google and search engines might look at things. And along those lines, you know, since then we've had Panda and, and what have you. And and all we see is, you know, the minions with their sky is falling. And, and ah, what are we supposed to do now is kind of the common thing, right, Terry? It's like if we can't yep. link build, there is no SEO. It's like, you know, <laughs> oh, my God, what do we do? They've taken away our crappy links. What do we do? So, yeah, I, so, so I guess let's start at, right at the high level. You know what I mean? What what other types of, you know, we've got you know, social graphs. What what were some of the ones we talked about last time? I was meaning to make some notes, but I didn't get around to it last night. So we'll just free it. So I'm not sure if we want to look back too far in the past. There's been some interesting stuff that's happened recently. Uh, some papers, some other things like that that may be worth talking about. Uh, for instance, uh, three researchers from Google Engineering came out with a new paper uh, that that talks about using uh, knowledge graph type information, looking looking at different uh, resources like Free uh, Base, uh, Wikipedia, and so on, to try to understand when certain terms, words, and phrases show up in social uh, media and and try to get a better sense of what people are actually talking about, what topics they're covering, things like that by uh, doing lookups in uh, Wikipedia and Freebase in their uh, query logs and, and the information associated with those when people do things like uh, change uh, their queries for in query sessions for certain terms and phrases. Uh, so they're they're trying to get a better sense and understanding of what actual conversations are about in different social media, uh, and they're using knowledge bases to do that. Yeah, I see Wikipedia show up a lot with this current the knowledge graph they released last week. Or that you know a lot of the ones that we were reproducing to to look at how it was being brought up. A lot of them had Wikipedia as their main reference. But, uh, Bill, it doesn't that go to the way that uh, Wikipedia is constructed semantically? It's very easy for Google to parse out information into that sort of a uh, graph. <coughs> Pardon me. Yes, the the uh, Wikipedia has been smart about the how, how the way they construct templates and things like that. So for yeah. people, they have the info boxes, which have the name value pairs uh, in 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 those person's name, date of birth whatever place of birth and so on. So they make it really easy for Google to uh, crawl the site and extract information and, and make summaries. Uh, they have the, uh, where there are multiple terms that, that mean different things, they have the disambiguation pages so that you can tell uh, Danny Sullivan, the technologist, is different than Danny Sullivan, the retired race car driver. Uh, ah, right, right. Uh huh. Uh, so Those connections would help them, wouldn't they? Yeah, that that's very interesting. Yeah, yeah. So uh, they're they're really smart about the way they've uh, constructed that and connected pages together and 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 uh, tried to make it so that it's easy to find when an entity, multiple entities, share the same name. Uh, Freebase does some of that too, and, and if you look at uh, the MetaWeb patents associated with Freebase, they they assign key val they assign a key value to an individual. So uh, David Harry should have like a 15 string of letters and numbers or something like that. That means this is you, David Harry, the unique identifier. And, right, a unique yeah. identifier in their database, and, and they should be able to say this is David Harry, this is Dave Harry. <laughs> they should be able to make that connection. <laughs> you would hope. <laughs> That's why they use numbers, uh, not uh, names, eh, Bill? Well, say Google right. profiles are a string of numbers, though, right? So. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. like you're uh, in jail. <laughs> just like you're in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Inmate number 4653. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You're in Google jail. <laughs> but yeah, I, I would think some of the MetaWeb purchase played into to, you know the thinking process along the way, for sure. Right, right. And one of the patents that Google came out with... Uh, 
that describes the use of uh, knowledge bases and and uh, showing additional information and so on uh, actually mentioned both Freebase and Wikipedia as sources that they could use. And then all of a sudden, after that get, got published, uh, Google purchased MetaWeb like a month later. Right. Mm-hmm. So I don't, I don't think that was a coincidence. Uh, yeah. I don't, don't yeah. think Google's going to purchase Wikipedia, though. No. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no. I think it's for sale. Jimmy Wales, I think. <laughs> nah, not likely to sell. List of associations and attributes and stuff like that. They're helping people who may not know much about a topic learn about things that they should search for too. Things that maybe they're not going to get if they just look at a list of uh, uh, the 10 blue links, right? To use that metaphor, the the list of web pages with, with just really short snippets. You're, you're not going to... Uh, Get that type of connection. Interesting on the tinfoil side. I'm, I'm not. I haven't seen definitively, but in the testing we do with people in our in the in the chat room and stuff like that, it seems you actually have to be logged in to see these uh, NAD results. Hey, uh, this knowledge base results. I think that's a computational expense issue. Okay. See, you know, there's the tinfoil that says that you know, real, <laughs> coming soon to a SERP near you, you're going to see results below that box saying from your social circles. So. <laughs> right. 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 So, Which is, again, so, you know, more entities, even if you're talking social graphs, since we're trying to talk about graphs here, even the social graph itself is just another extension entity. of understanding entities, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, and I uh, think that's interesting because it's always been the conversation, and we, you know, that, that I, I've never really put those two together. I've talked about social graphs. I've talked about, you know, knowledge graphs or, or enti named entities and what have you. But not really made that connection that really users not just not just the information they're indexing is now an entity, but the users themselves become entities that they relate things to, right? Which we know yeah. from personalization in the past and other things they've done that categorize users and stuff. But it's it's like an overlap of different concepts now. It's a great point. And when we talk about knowledge bases and entity associations and stuff like that, we we have a great example in local search. And local search is is probably a great proof of concept for the rest of this stuff. Uh, Google, for a number of years now, has been saying uh, the mention of a place, a business name or whatever, with some location information helps that place rank better for that location. It doesn't have to have a link. That mention is sort of on the same scale. That's who entity it picks them out of the page, right, right? Right. So Google's built this geographic knowledge base. Another graph. Geographic. A geographic knowledge base. All right. right.